Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Any list or database can be sorted using any of the fields available. Sorting is one of the main reasons that you create lists. It allows you to give an organization and flow to the records. By default, Excel can sort alphabetically or numerically in either ascending order, which is A to Z or 1 to 10, or descending order, Z to A, 10 to 1. It will sort from top to bottom by default, but it can also be set to sort from left to right. You can sort a list by a single column or by multiple columns, up to three. When you sort data, you need to define by which fields it will sort and in which order it will sort the data. You can set up to three fields by which you can sort. For example, if you sort it only by the last name field in a database, there might be multiple entries with the same exact last name. If you also applied a secondary sort by the first name field, you could then ensure that your employees were in alphabetical order by last name, then first name. To sort by a single column, just click into a cell within the column by which you'd like to sort. Then click either the Sort Ascending button in the standard toolbar, or click the Sort Descending button in the standard toolbar to sort the list in either ascending or descending order by the information within the column into which you clicked. You can also perform a multi-column sort on a database list by clicking into the list and then selecting Data from the menu bar and choosing Sort. This will launch the Sort dialog box. Excel will try to sort using the labels in the header row. If you created a list that doesn't have a header row, but you would like to sort it anyways, you can. Select the No Header Row option at the bottom of the Sort dialog box to tell Excel to treat the first row of your database as if it were any other record, which will sort it appropriately then with the other rows. If you're using an Excel 2003 list, you cannot change this option as it's set when you create the list. Otherwise, just use the first drop down in the Sort By section to select the name of the first field by which you want to sort the data. This is called the primary sort. To the right of that, then, select the desired option for the primary sort order, ascending order or descending order. You can then repeat this process in the Then By sections to create a secondary and tertiary sort if you would like. When you've finished, click OK to apply the sorting that you set. If you make a mistake after sorting data, you can undo it by immediately clicking the Undo button in the standard toolbar after performing the sort. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.